Welcome back everyone. I'm Ishan Sharma and today it is a lovely rainy day right now in Mumbai and uh, but anyways we are learning Python today and especially we'll be learning about mathematical operators and comparison operators. Right? Uh this is just basically how Python uh operates in mathematical and comparison ways i'll just show you exactly what i mean by that so let's just say in mathematical uh, as you guys can see i have a bunch of uh signs written over here i'll go over each and every one of these uh but first of all i'll just show you how commenting works in uh, python if you don't know what comments are basically comments are uh some things that we write only for the sake of us developers to understand what we have written in the code okay this will not be executed by the compiler okay computer will not uh, bother looking at it or running it okay that is just for us human beings to understand what code we have written you know just to help us out a little bit okay so yeah if you want to comment uh you can just literally just type the hash sign okay and as you can see it went uh translucent okay so they like basically that means it will not be run right now and you can uh, write whatever you want over here okay and it won't be run right and if you want to there's another shortcut to for doing this and that is just select whatever text you want to comment and then just click on control plus the uh, slash symbol okay and yeah there you have it okay i'll just do the same for over this as well and okay there we go okay so today we'll be learning about mathematical operators i'll just show you what every single one of them means so yeah let's just get started pretty much you have to just type print and let's just say 56 plus 21 and you run that and as you can see we get 77 over here pretty simple maths right if you've studied in in school uh it's nothing different it's pretty much the same thing you can uh do minus over here as well and it would give you 35 you can also do multiplication over here just do multiplication and you know just a standard multiplication stuff you can also divide as you can see um in other languages like c and all you wouldn't necessarily get a floating integer okay as you can see we got 2.66 uh as the result of 56 divided by 21 okay so that is a good point about python that we don't uh, have to care about if it would be an integer or if the answer would be a float it is uh, automatically taken care by the python interpreter itself okay guys so yeah that's just a pretty good thing about python also guys let me just explain you what the mod operator does the percent sign over here right how do you use that and what that really means so i can pretty much just write print and i can say let's just say 34 uh, and i can say the percent sign divided by 7 Okay, and when I do that, I get six over here. Basically, what this uh, sign does is that it finds the remainder. Okay, it's like you divide it, and whatever remainder you will get, it will display it over here. Right? Pretty simple. You just put it like this, and it it gives you the output. Again, you can assign these numbers to a particular thing, to a particular uh, letter or a word, and then you just uh, assign it over here, and then you put it over here. Uh, it just means the same thing. Right? Now let's talk about uh, what comparison operators are. Okay, comparison operators are basically used to compare two things. Okay, let's just say I have something over here and then I have something over here. I want to compare uh, how they are or like which one is bigger, which one is smaller. Okay, so let's just talk about first of all the single equal sign operator. Okay, this is also called as an assignment operator. So let me just show you what uh, the equal uh, assignment operator does. So basically, I'll just do x equal to three, and over here I'll just print x. and when i run the code i'll get 3 over here okay so yeah that's just basically pretty uh, simple to understand you are assigning this value of 3 to x so wherever you use x in the program that would be interpreted as 3 okay because that is what you have assigned it for you can do the same for y uh, i can have whatever integer i want to whatever number i want to i can assign it to that particular thing that is on the left okay assignment works like this you the, the thing that is on the right gets assigned to the thing that is on the left okay so 3 gets assigned to x okay and if i write 10 over here so 10 gets assigned to y and then you can also do stuff like uh you know y and then you can just print this and you can get 13 okay so you can also perform these operations it's pretty simple so now let's talk about the double comparison sign operator okay the double equal sign that you can see over here 
this is basically used for uh, seeing if both of the things on the left and right are equal to each other okay this is basically uh, you are equal to operator in the normal maths that we study in school and all okay so we can pretty much just say print 2 equal to 20 which double equal to actually which would obviously be false and you get false okay again uh, another thing to understand is that there are booleans in python they are false i can go in much uh, depth as well in the later tutorials but basically they are uh, false and true the t and f are capital okay and you are basically seeing if the th if this is true okay if this is true then you'll get true if this is not uh, correct then you'll get false okay so it's pretty simple right i'm just i'm making sure that you know the basics because i think it's really important to understand that before we move on to some more uh, complex topics okay now let's just talk about what the not equal to operator does right right here the exclamation mark and the equal to operator um you can just see here and you can just write this so what this means is that 2 is not equal to 20 and that is a true statement okay that is something that is completely true so when you will run that you will get true because it is completely correct okay next we can talk about the less than and the uh, and the greater than uh, operator so if i say 2 greater than 20 that's false right uh, it would never be true you can also do things like uh, let's just say s equal to 34 and then let's just say r equal to 20 and then i can just replace these by s and i can you know just replace that by r and then i can see if it is if it is true or not and it obviously is true so yeah this is just basic assigning things to a particular number and then using it pretty simple stuff um now let's talk about the greater than equal to sign so yeah if both of them are equal so let's just say i have 2 20 and 20 so if i do something like this then it would be true okay and if i do not select that then it would be false right because 20 is not greater than 20 right 20 is equal to 20 so we'll do something like this okay so basically i hope you understood what i'm trying to tell you here it's pretty simple to understand there's nothing uh, rocket science behind it and python again is a very simple language it is made uh, to be beginner friendly and so if you know english pretty well and you, if you also know uh, maths pretty well then i think you can pretty much just understand what python syntax really means okay uh, in the coming up uh, videos will be going over exactly how python uh, works with conditionals and some other stuff it's pretty simple and i hope you will enjoy it but guys thank you so much for watching the video till the very end subscribe to the channel guys like this video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one keep coding